watching Paint Dry. Congratulations! You're on step 10 of the painting process. And that step, I like to call put up, touch up, and clean up. First, put up. You're going to have to put up all those down spots that you took down. You're going to need a screwdriver to put those down spots back up. If you're going to put up any new light fixtures, you're going to want to do that now, or you're going to want to put up the old ones. You're going to want to put up the address numbers. Put everything up first, because as you're putting stuff up, you're probably going to bang a few things on the house, and you don't, you're going to want to be touching up after you do that. Okay, so the next step then is touch up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one bucket in every single color that I've got on the house. On this house, I've got the siding color, I've got the trim color, then I've got the deck railing color, which is white, and then I've got the deck uh, flooring cover, which is gray. So I've got four colors, and I'm going to have a brush in all four colors. And that's what you want to do when you're touching up. You want to be able to hit any color as you see it, and get it all taken care of at once. After you get everything touched up, the final step is clean up. What does clean up entail? Well, first of all, you're going to have to walk around the house, pick up any paint chips that fell in the garden, pick up any pieces of tape, paper, etc. that are blowing around or maybe got missed. Um, you're going to want to take some type of uh, cleaner. This is some kind of contractor cleaner for getting paint off of uh, cement or windows. If you accidentally got some paint onto a surface where it shouldn't be. Um, you're going to want to clean your windows, especially if you power wash with a bleachy mix. Uh, it can be hard to get off with regular window cleaner, so I recommend this stuff. Spray away foaming glass cleaner. That will get that bleachy stuff off there. And then you're going to want to clean up and put away all your equipment. And once you pick everything up, you're done. touch up and the clean up, congratulations, you're done, you've painted your house. Now, it probably took part of the summer and it's getting toward fall and winter's right around the corner, and you know what that means, you're going to want to go inside and give some of those rooms a fresh coat of paint. So go to my website, howtopaintahouseright.com, and see my series, How to Paint a Room in Five Steps. Oops, there's one more thing I'm going to ask you to do. Go get a bathroom scale and stand on it. Because I'm guessing that you probably lost 5 pounds, maybe even 10, if you painted your house right.